The next use case is a tactical one. So we wanted to look at millions of calls coming in. We, we have an average handle time to understand how long the calls are. We wanted to sort of look at how volatile it is compared to thresholds. So what we have is an anomaly detection system where you have the call volume in the, in the top left graph and the average handle time in the top right graph. What you see are the reference lines which establish the mean of the historical time trend. And we measure the volatility uh, through the range of one standard deviation up from the mean, one standard deviation below from the mean. So once a data point gets generated, when the dashboard gets updated, if it is above that particular threshold of the historical uh, trend line, it would detect as an anomaly. And it would detect as a good anomaly, a, a bad anomaly, excuse me, when it, when it goes above the standard deviation, and a good anomaly when it goes below one standard deviation of our thresholds. The bottom graphs show you the top 10 call reasons driving pressure for that particular week. So this is a weekly trend line that you're seeing. And what you, could, you can now look at is for that particular week where the anomaly is detected, you can see the top drivers that are causing the variance uh, from our uh, eight-week moving averages. Right? And so like we saw uh, that graph in the vision tooltip where certain subtopics have gone up, certain subtopics have gone down. So we also look at the top call drivers that are relieving pressure. So for that given week, you know, if it's a good anomaly, bad anomaly, whatever it is, what are the top 10 drivers that's causing that? What are the top 10 drivers that's actually relieving pressure for us? Right? So this, this, got, this got a tremendous response in the, in the business. And so we, we got a request to get further granular. So not only check the volatility levels on a weekly basis, but let's, let's look at certain events like when the iPhone launches, right? Let's look at at a daily level. So the next view is actually comparing every single day and how it has performed with respect to our uh, baseline thresholds. One interesting thing is you can see the top, top 10 call reasons, it's tough to read, but top 10 call reasons driving pressure for that given date by volume change from moving average of previous eight Sundays, right? So just there's a data point which says, which is Sunday, so this updates day minus one every day. It's showing you the top call drivers for Sunday and the top drivers relieving pressure for Sunday, right? But using parameter actions in 2013, now I can historically go back and click on any data point, any anomaly that has happened historically, right? So for example, this is day Wednesday, percentage different from average of previous eight Wednesdays is X percent and it is detected as a bad anomaly. I can now click on that data point on that graph and you would see that reflects not only in the calculations of like rankings and filters uh, to reflect on the drivers, but it also changes the labels in the dashboards. So it moved from previous eight Sundays to previous eight Wednesdays. So now we, we can have anomaly get detected for anything that happens uh, in the future. Uh, we can have anomaly detected for like our entire historical call volume also and try to analyze what's gone up, what's gone down, et cetera. Detecting an anomaly is, a part, is, is one part of the job. Right? A crucial component is to convey that to the pertaining stakeholders. Right? So in the detection system, we've built it in a way where not only it detects the anomaly, once it detects the anomaly, it shoots an anomaly email push. So this is an example of how an email you would get, where in the view, it highlights the anomaly, so you can see that red band that showcases which are some of the points that have gone up, and it tells you HT was above or equal to threshold of uh, you know, X, percentage difference from last eight, same days of week was above X percent, et cetera. So this is a good way for everyone in the uh, customer service uh, analytics teams to sort of take a, take a uh, stock of how our call volume in HD is fluctuating on a, on a daily, weekly basis.